Hey everyone, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're trying to figure out how to use a codon chart, which is a part of solving protein synthesis problems in biology. So today we're gonna to go over how to use a codon chart, both the circular version and the table version, and I hope this is helpful as you are working through your protein synthesis problems. Now, if you're asked to transcribe something, that means you're just going from DNA to RNA. This is not where you use the codon chart, this is just transcription. So to go from DNA to RNA here, we remember that in RNA we have U's instead of T's, but every other complementary pairing rule is the same. So, so T's pair with A's and A's pair with U's, but C's always pair with G and G always pair with C. So we determine the RNA strand based on our complementary base pairing rules. But if you're asking to translate an RNA sequence, that means you're going from RNA to actually the amino acids that are going to be joined together in a polypeptide chain by the ribosomes. So you'll probably start with an RNA strand, maybe one that looks like this, and we're going to go three bases at a time. Now a codon is a group of three nucleotides, AUG. So let's start here, AUG, and we're going to look here in the center here of our circular chart, A, and then we're going to move to the next letter, which is U, so there's that U it's touching, and then G is down here. So we follow AUG, that gives us MET, which is an abbreviation for methionine, also known as our start codon. All right, let's do another one with our circular chart, and then we're gonna move to the table version. CGU is our next codon, or group of three. So we'll start in the center here, C, and then we'll find our G, and then we'll find our U, and that gives us ARG, which is our amino acid arginine. Now, I know all of the names for these amino acids, but usually if you're writing this down on your own, you can just use their abbreviations. So you would write MET for methionine, and then ARG for arginine, which is what we're figuring out from this codon chart. Now let's take a look at the same sequence, but we're gonna use a different type of codon chart. On the ones that are formatted like tables, we'll start with the first base over here on the left. And so let's start again with AUG, just to make sure we get the same thing. A, so we know we're going into this area here. Then we're gonna find our second letter, which is U. So we know we're somewhere in this zone right here. And then we're gonna look on this side, G, and there's AUG that corresponds to MET, again, which is our start codon. Let's do CGU now. So we'll start here with C, which means we're somewhere in this zone, and then we'll look for our second base, which is gonna be G. So we go down to the G column, G, and our third one is U that we're looking at. So we follow this U over to our last little box here. CGU corresponds to arginine. Now actually all of the codons that start with CG are gonna be arginine, but that is a topic for another day. Okay, let's do our last codon here in this RNA sequence, just for practice. A, so we'll start here. C, we'll come down. And then U, we find U over here. That corresponds to THR, which is threonine. Now remember, if you're asked to translate a sequence, you're gonna use a codon chart. If you're asked to transcribe a DNA sequence, remember to turn it into RNA first. Another hint that you're working with DNA is that T's will be in the sequence. If you're working with RNA, there should be no T's because remember, in place of T's, there are U's. Okay, let's do some more practice. Make sure you have that scratch paper, and remember, if you need access to a codon chart, there's a link in the description below with both the circle versions and the version in the table. We have mRNA. I want you to translate it from the mRNA into our amino acid sequence. So make sure you get that codon chart handy because you're going to need it to do these. All right. Correct answer is tyrosine, glycine, isoleucine. These short words are just abbreviations for the full names of the amino acids, which you don't need to memorize. If you've got your codon chart, the abbreviations are just fine. So if you wrote TYR, GLY, ILE, you are in good shape. Final step here, we're going to transcribe and translate this. So start with your DNA sequence, tell me what the mRNA would be that is built off this DNA sequence, and then what the amino acids would be from that mRNA. Let's go. Make sure you pause. You ready? All right, so the mRNA would be UCU, UGU, AUU, and then our amino acid sequence would be SER, CYS, and ILE, if we're going by the abbreviations, serine, cysteine, and isoleucine. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck using your codon charts.